Welcome to Vitec Densicheck. Over the next few minutes, you will get a brief overview of the Vitec Densicheck instrument. This video is not meant to replace any Vitec systems user manuals. By the end of this video, you will be able to utilize the Vitec Densicheck as a standalone unit. The new Vitec Densicheck is made up of two individual components a display base and a pod. The display base shows the McFarlane reading measurement of the tube inserted into the pod. It also serves as a charging station for the pod. The display base consists of a touchscreen with two options, the McFarlane screen and the configuration screen. The McFarlane screen displays the meter to show the McFarlane value of the microorganism suspension. The configuration button, McFarlane meter, card type button, and icons for battery life, pod pairing color, and PC connection can also be found on the McFarlane screen. The configuration screen allows the user to access and adjust setting options such as pod pairing color, tube light intensity, display brightness, and base sleep time. The pod is responsible for the actual reading of the suspension. The pod contains two lights on the front. One light located near the bottom of the pod indicates the status of the pairing connection to the base. The other light located near the top of the pod indicates the McFarlane status. The pairing light can give an indication of the status of the pod. A blinking red light or solid colored light that does not match that of the base unit means that the pod is not synced to the base. A solid colored light matching that of the base unit indicates the pod is synced. No light means the pod is not charged. A blinking colored light, excluding red, indicates the pod has entered power safe mode. To exit power safe mode, insert a test tube into the pod and tap the display screen or remove and reseat the pod on the base unit. The McFarlane status light near the top of the pod matches the McFarlane meter gauge color on the display screen. The McFarlane status light can either be green, red, or yellow. A yellow light shows that the suspension is below the selected card type McFarlane range. A green light indicates that the suspension is within the selected card type McFarlane range. A red light means the suspension is above the selected card type McFarlane range. If a sample is over inoculated with a McFarlane value greater than 4.0, a swab is blocking the lens or a clump of specimen is blocking the lens, pound point, pound pound, will be displayed in the McFarlane meter. If the device needs to be cleaned, re-zeroed, or a lens is dirty or damaged, X point XX will display on the McFarlane meter. If no light is seen, it means that a suspension is being measured with the NA card selected. The pod is in the process of measuring, or that no measurement is in progress. The setup of Vitec Densicheck is swift and simple. Charge the Vitec Densicheck pod by sitting it on the display base and plugging the base directly to AC power using the provided AC power adapter, or by connecting the display base to the PC using the USB cable. To ensure that the pod is synced to the base unit, place it on the base unit again. The pod flashes a blinking red light when not connected to a display base, then turns the solid pairing color that corresponds with the color of the base when both are synced. If desired, use the configuration menu and alter the pairing light color or tube light intensity. Prior to use, a McFarlane reference check must be performed with the provided 0 0.0, 0 0.5, 2.0, and 3.0 McFarlane reference standards. Insert the 0, .0 McFarlane reference into the Vitec Densicheck pod 
so that the tube with the McFarlane reference value faces the user and is placed in the front tube location of the pod. Once placed, a McFarlane value along with the lot number of the McFarlane reference displays on the screen. Press and hold the button on the back of the pod until the tube light flashes and the two-second reading period begins. The value appears as 0.00, .00 on the screen, indicating that the pod is zeroed. For the other references, insert them into the pod in the same manner with the McFarlane reference value facing the user, and record the value that appears automatically on the McFarlane meter according to your lab's quality control guidelines. If the value displays a green colored meter gauge, it is a passing value. If it displays a red colored meter gauge, it failed. If the value is out of range, try wiping the tube to remove any potential dirt or fingerprints and try again. Once the instrument has been tested with all the McFarlane references, a zeroing procedure must be performed. Insert a saline filled plastic 12 by 75 millimeter polystyrene test tube into the front slot and rotate the tube for the full two second reading period as indicated by dots on the screen. If a value of 0, .00 is not displayed, press and hold the button on the back of the pod until the tube light flashes and the two-second reading period begins. Rotate the tube for a full two seconds and then the 0.0, .0 will display on the screen. The McFarlane reference check must be implemented prior to the first use of the device at least once a month or according to your local regulatory guidelines. After cleaning the device, or after relocating the instrument to a new lab environment. To use the Vitec DensiCheck as a standalone device, use the AC power cable to plug the Vitec DensiCheck into a power outlet. Gently press the card type button on the McFarland screen of the Vitec DensiCheck base until the desired card type appears. Combine saline and microorganism in the test tube and mix the suspension until a homogeneous solution is obtained. When ready, insert the sample into the front slot of the DensiCheck pod. When dots appear on the display base screen, rotate the tube slowly until the McFarlane value is displayed on the display base. If necessary, adjust the suspension and repeat the measuring process until the McFarlane meter gauge is green and the value is within the appropriate range.